on matters of faith and joining us this morning is James Johnson with North Stone Baptist Church in Pensacola. Good morning to you, sir. Hey, good morning, Chad. Thank you so much for having me. It is the Sunday before Election Day, and what do you pray for this election? You know, I think we should pray for righteousness to mm -hmm. prevail. Um, I love the Proverbs, and specifically Proverbs 1434 says that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Um, and as I look at the presidential election, I don't necessarily think that one candidate is more righteous than the other. I think yeah. Jesus is the source of all righteousness. And so as we pray, we should pray for the conversion of these candidates, that they would be born again, and then that they would make decisions for our country that are rooted in biblical Christ-like righteousness. I know often in Christianity, our focus should be on the kingdom of heaven, but why do you think people of faith should vote? Well, I think uh, voting is a stewardship and it's a privilege. And so we need to, as Christian people, be good stewards of that privilege, um, not just take it for granted. I heard some statistics that there are like 90 million evangelicals in the United States of America, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe only 41 million of them voted in a previous presidential election. So it's a stewardship, it's a responsibility, it's a privilege, but also people of faith need to vote because we don't wanna just give ourselves over to secularism. And so it's one way we can kind of push back on the unrighteousness of our culture. So how do you think the fervor over this election can overshadow what should be important in, in life? Oh, um, you know, I think that whatever happens November 5th, yeah. uh, we just keep on doing what is important in our life, like we keep on loving God and loving our spouse, um, and then and then loving our children and serving our faith families, our church families. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't be so consumed politically <laughs> as if the sky is going to fall. No, we just carry on with life and prioritize that which is actually important. James Johnson with North Stone Baptist Church. We'll talk more about this topic in the next hour of News 5 this morning. And joining us this morning is James Johnson with North Stone Baptist Church. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Chad. We want to continue our conversation talking about the lead up to Election Day that is uh, this Tuesday. A lot of people are very passionate mm -hmm. when it comes to this presidential election. When do you think political ideology can veer into idolatry? Oh, I think it can, uh, and certainly that is unfortunate. Uh, I mean, what happens sometimes is people think that their candidate is like the only hope. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they sometimes people kind of have almost a worshipful, idolatrous sense in relationship to a candidate. So I think Christian people need to make sure that we recognize that God is our hope. He is our refuge and strength. He's a very present help in trouble. Uh, I love Psalm 42, which tells us to hope thou in God. So uh, we got to keep the God of the Bible as the one we adore and worship and just appreciate uh, candidates that share our Christian worldview, but not worship them. At some point, this election will be over and eventually we have to work work with people who might have political differences with us. How do you say we can work with people despite those differences? Well, I think that we need to realize the importance of unity. I mean, after all, we are the United States of America. We have become such a polarized nation and that's unhealthy for a nation. If we wanna be a strong nation, we've gotta be a unified nation. So uh, we have got to be able to get over some of these petty differences uh, that are dividing us. You know, Chad, we often hear in the political world that diversity is our strength mm. and I'm for diversity, of course, but I think that phrase is just political claptrap. Mm. Really, unity is our strength. Any, any group of people that wants to be strong has got to be unified. So we've got to work well with one another. James Johnson with North Stone Baptist Church in Pensacola. We thank you for joining us for this edition of Faith Time on News 5 this morning.